Ore e hoa mā, ke te whakarango mai koutou ki Arrow FM, te reo irirangi o Wairarapa. E whai ake nei MMP, but not with Rob. Because Rob's a doctor, and stuff happens, and sometimes he can't make it, and then I leap into the breach in my own, I was going to say a distinctive way, that makes it sound better than it is. It's me anyway, ko Michael toko ingoa. Right. So what's happening in this fabulous region? What are the ways that you can move, mingle and play in the Wairarapa? Well, of course, the big thing is it's Waitangi Day. So that's a huge focus for all of us. I'll tell you a few other things that are going on first. Um, In fact, there's a whole bunch of things going on at Yibo Art Studio. You know them, they're... um, they're pretty much Greytown. State Highway 2 on Greytown. Not on Greytown, in Greytown. So do I have a better address for them? No, because I've seen their sign. Keep going south after Greytown and look out for the Ebo sign. So on Thursday, which if you're watching on Thursday, that's today. If you're listening likewise. Um... If you're uh, experiencing a repeat of this program, it's already happened. But anyway, on Thursday at 10 o'clock until uh, lunchtime, midday, it's a workshop, uh, an art workshop, De-Stress, the Creative Way. Um, It's given by artist Zelda Bruce. Bruce. She'll lead you through relaxing tools like lavender oil, breathing exercises and doodles with oil pastels. It'll help you understand how to use art as a tool to de-stress. So um, if you want to go to that, go on to 0800 by tex B-U-Y-T-I-X, uh, because it's harder to remember numbers, isn't it? The numbers are, by the way, 0800 289 849. I'll just go right through all the things that are happening at Yibo. Also on Thursday from 10 till 12 is a crystal workshop. This workshop will teach you how various crystals have healing abilities and can help you heal your mind and body in an interesting and spiritual way. Right. Um, Frida Kahlo Day. Did you know Friday is Frida Kahlo Day? Well, it is at Yibo. Um, Might be worth Googling it to find out if it's a special day for Frida Kahlo. Um... That's from 10 till 5 in Ebo Art Studio. So it'll start with a documentary about Frida Kahlo, and then visitors can follow a workshop to create flowers for hats for the Frida Kahlo contest at the race course. All right. And the day will end with delicious Mexican food, while guests enjoy a movie about the life of Frida Kahlo. Uh Uh-huh. So you, it, it's kind of donutted with movies about Frida Kahlo. If you do make flowers for your hat, if that's what you're planning on doing, bring a hat. Right, um, also at Yibo on Saturday, which is Waitangi Day, uh, from 9 until uh, lunchtime, midday, self-portraits with Ann Taylor. Channel your inner wildflower woman on this fun and relaxing workshop led by artist Ann Taylor, taking inspiration from Frida Kahlo, New Zealand's own Pacific Sisters, and the Instagram phenomenon Advanced Style to create a portrait painting of your very own muse. Channel your inner woman and... um, Go. Oh. And anybody can channel there in a woman. All right. So there's a Mexican music show by Raven Mavens at Yibo on Saturday from 12.30 till 2.30. That's early afternoon. Raven Mavens duo, trio or quartet, <laughs> depends I guess, is a fun-loving band of talented women dishing up a mess of boogies, blues and ballads, covers and original songs delivered with fine musicianship, great vocals and a bit of story- storytelling and hilarity on the side. So... You know, bit of a relaxing afternoon. Visitors can enjoy Saturday afternoon with families and friends with nice music and Mexican food will be available. The event is free for those who've joined one of the two workshops that morning, which, as you know, is self-portraits 
and paint and glaze ceramic flowers. Right. Whew, lots of things happening at Yibo. If you're down in Featherston uh, and you want to pursue your passion for belly dancing, then Belly Dancing for Beginners with Antonio is on Antonia at the Featherston Community Centre on Thursday. Thursday, right? 6.30 till 7.30. A gentle introduction to a variety of Middle Eastern and modern fusion dance styles and music. You don't have to show your belly if you don't want to, right? Benefits of the dancing include improved muscle tone, yeah, of course, and strength, weight management, stronger bones and reduced risk of osteoporosis, better coordination, agility and flexibility. So, you know, all of those... Um, Anything to do with movement will will do that to some degree. Movement music more so. Right, wear something comfy. Leggings and t-shirt are ideal. Uh, bring your water bottle and a towel or yoga mat for the cool down because afterwards, you know, you don't just want to go, right, finished, straight out into the night. You cool down gently. There's a core half of $2 to help pay the rent. It's not much, eh? On Friday... The Dannyverk AMP show begins uh, at the Dannyverk AMP showgrounds, which is on High Street, um, nine till three. All the usual attractions. So, um, terrier racing. I was not aware of that one. Shearing, live music, trade sites, home industries, which include baking, preserving vegetables, preserving vegetables. Well, preserving vegetables. There's a comma there. Knitting, sewing and crafts along with the children's entries. So lots of stuff happening at the Danny Verk AMP show starting on Friday, 9 till 3. Right, what else do we have, Michael? There's a spontaneous dance class at the... That sounds like my thing, spontaneous dance, which means you just do it and you don't have to learn steps. Some people are good at learning steps, others not so much. Um... A dance teacher once told me, you're a soloist, Michael, which meant you're hopeless at learning steps. So uh, it's a way of moving. By the way, this is at the Featherston Community Centre, 14 Wakefield Street, Featherston, on Friday, 6.30 to 8. So it's a way of moving how you want, of course. They start with a warm-up, doing different parts of your body, then move to a more progressive tempo to finish off with settling, quieting and sitting. At the end of the class, obviously. <laughs> they follow traditions of five rhythms dance, core connections, and fragments of dance therapy. The main aim is to loosen up the body, relax the mind, and practice being and moving how we are. Sounds great, eh? Featherston Community Centre Spontaneous Dance Class. 6.30 to 8 on Friday. Moving on to Saturday. Saturday... Uh, Martin Fair, so much on the Martin Fair, as you know, I mean, it's been going for ages. It's uh, put on by the Rotary Club of South Wairarapa. Uh, let's see when it starts. Eight in the morning, right? This is on Saturday. And likewise, oh, oh, that's right. It, it goes on this Saturday and then it goes on on the 6th of March again. So it's held in the picturesque Martinborough Square, the iconic fair, it is iconic, eh? reportedly the largest in Australasia, comprises over 500 stalls selling artwork, crafts, food and other quality products. So good thing to go to, eh? Now before we start talking about Waitangi Day, because that's the big one for me, um, let's have some music. Uh, let's see, I think over here we might have Firimako Black, yes. Uh, and the track that she is about to sing is Faka Aia Oyo, Firimako Black. <laughs> Oh, no, no, fuck 
Titty Marco Black there with Faka Ioioi. She's good, eh? All right, what else have we got? Well, it's Waitangi Day. It isn't today. It will be on Saturday. Uh, of course, it's being Mondayized as far as, you know, getting a day off work and things goes. So Monday, unless you've got some special thing that you have to go to work for, that's a day off. But the important day is Saturday when we... Um, not just celebrate, but have a good think about what it means to have a treaty between the peoples of New Zealand and what um, a unique thing that is and also what a powerful tool for moving forward and um, inclusivity. Uh, I mean, talking about inclusivity sounds like <laughs> it doesn't need to be said, does it? Really, we are one here in this country, but we have different cultures and rather than try and make them homogenized and and uh, kind of uh, a bland mashup of everything let's benefit from each other's way of um, looking at things doing things connection with our past whakapapa um, and those of us who do not have any Māori ancestry, I think, need to put more effort into learning te reo Māori, at the very least pronouncing it correctly. It's not difficult. All the vowel sounds are really easy. A, E, I, O, U. Um, so get on with it, people. Learn te reo Māori, akona te reo Māori, and turn up to something on Waitangi Day so that you can enjoy the great entertainment that's on offer but also spend some time thinking about what it means to you. So out at Pukaha Mount Bruce they're celebrating their new Whare Whakairo. Um, let's see that's Saturday well it just keeps going so they, they're saying hey community come along to uh, visit on Waitangi weekend and see their new uh, Whare Whakairo which is a, you know they've got a carving workshop Rere Te Maramara that has just opened well that's great isn't it Fano and Tamariki who visit will be able to observe Whakairo uh, that's the carvers and talk to them about their work. The whare will be open to the public throughout Waitangi weekend, um, right across all their opening hours, which is 9 to 5. At all other times, it will be open for public view six days a week. So, great, eh? Right, that's what's happening out at Pukaha Mount Bruce, and it's not just happening, it continues, it just goes on, right? There's a Y-Fest thing happening featuring Lion Rez and Israel Star at Queen Elizabeth Park in Masterton. You know where that is. Dixon Street up the, uh, the northern end. It's Masterton's biggest music festival. And it's perfect for the whole family to enjoy a day of free fun and entertainment. So it starts at 10 o'clock on Saturday, goes till 3 o'clock. Celebrate Waitangi Day together with your community and see a load of amazing music. I like that, see music. But it's true, eh? when people are performing live, it makes a difference. You're not just experiencing the wonderful sounds. The fact that they're creating those sounds in front of you makes it particularly special. So, uh, they've got Lion Rez, Israel Star, Sian and Friends, and Magic Paura. And a special guest star that will be announced a little bit later. So get down to QE2 Park for an awesome day to come together as a community and celebrate Waitangi Day. Now, as I say... We're made up of many cultures, and it's the Viking Festival in Norsewood on Sunday. The Viking Festival, right, at Matthews Domain, which is on 24 Ngamoko Road in Norsewood. Um, let's see, it's on Saturday and Sunday, 10 o'clock on both days. Matthew Park has been turned into an authentic Viking town, again, because they've done it before. The 2020 festival was a great success, and 2021 is just round the corner. What do you mean? It's here, mate. You must have written this a while ago. Um, and it'll be better than ever. The event is just round the corner. All right. 
their rivals and knights have decided to join them this year for a battle to the finish to celebrate all the honorable warriors and knights of the viking era you can try your hand at archery or axe throwing clear the way don't just sort of practice amongst your mates there will also be spinning and weaving to watch traditional items made from wool and leather viking food to try a skilled blacksmith will be forging traditional Viking items. The original Viking fjord horses will also be there. When we say original, descendants of the originals. Tell all your friends, come to Norsewood for a great time on Sunday. Haha, children under the height of the sword enter free. There's a sword there. You stand beside it, I guess. If you're shorter than that, you get him free. Otherwise, $5, not much. So that's the Viking Festival in Norsewood. Um, let me tell you what's happening at Tahurinico. Now, I went to a beginner's Te Reo Māori course recently, and I've always tried to pronounce Tahurinico the way it looks. And Mike Kawada, our tutor, said actually it's been written incorrectly. It's Tahurinico. It's like the Remutaka Hill. You know, we called it Remutaka for years, not realising that was not its real name. Remutaka, well, apparently it's Tofare Nika, which is, you know, the house of the Nika. Uh, you have forgotten what I was talking about. Hey, well, I'm talking about the races. Um, it's the Summer Festival Waitangi Race Day on Monday. 10 till 6, the first race happens at 12.47, but you get there a bit earlier and drink up the atmosphere, have something to eat, place some bets. Uh, the Tohirini car races, right? Get your family and friends together, pack a picnic so you don't have to just buy the food that they've got on sale, you can bring your own if you want, and then they've got all these food trucks. All guests have a blast on track with live music, free kids entertainment, and exciting racing action gates are open from 10 as i said um if you think maybe you might be drinking a bit and you want to take a a, a bus or something transport options from masterton uh you got return option uh with a local company y tours to book give them a call um actually email them go on to info at ytours.co.nz Info at ywaitours.co.nz. Find out what it costs to get a bus there and back. Should we have some more music? Why not? What have I got here? Um, Pacific Curls. Uh, they've put out, a, well, some time ago they put out a CD called Te Kore, and I thought it would be good to listen to Te Ponamu. Oh, no. 
Te Namu. Nice, eh? Pacific Curls. Might have a bit more music a bit later on. Just a couple of more things happening in the region that I know about. So, Tuesday, you can find out about Cooking on a Budget. This is at the Dannyverk Spinning Club, which is McPhee Street, Dannyverk. Uh, come and learn how to prepare delicious meals on a budget. That's a skill worth having, I tell you. This workshop uses a welcoming group environment to show you ways to make delicious, cost-effective meals to feed your family for less. You'll learn basic transferable skills and methods to make easy, delicious food. Yeah, transferable, because once you get the guts of how to make food, uh, make meals in a cheap way, then you can start inventing. You can go, I know that this goes with this. I know that this is a good method. I know that this is a cheap cut of meat, but if I slow cook it and things, I can really make a good meal. So these are transferable skills. While we're still in Dannyverk, there's a wellness through art thing happening at the Dannyverk Spinning Club. Same place, Dannyverk Spinning Club. Oh, that uh, cooking on a budget. Did I mention that was Tuesday, 10 o'clock till midday? 10 o'clock till midday. I didn't mention that, so I am now. Also at the Dannyverk Spinning Club is wellness through art. Tuesday, 1.30 to 3.30. Come along and learn something new. Well, Yep. Held each Tuesday. Art packs range from $35, that's a starter pack, to $60, a full pack. So obviously there's stuff, um, I guess, paints, brushes, canvases, whatever for you to use during the workshop. Um, so that's, uh, uh, interestingly, it says at the Art Society Club Rooms, which is at the, the Danny Virk Spinning Club has it there. It's the same address, McPhee Street, 30 McPhee Street, Danny Virk. Do I have anything more? Yes, I do, but let's have a bit of, because I've only got one more thing. Let's have a bit of music before then. Um, Kia Mo, off the same CD that the Firimako Black was on. Um, Kia Mo. You hear that um, during Waiata, don't you, as a sort of preparation instruction before before you sing your Waiata. Kia mo, and then people hope it or whatever, and they do their song. This has got some interesting lyrics in Te Reo Māori. Um, I'll just give you a translation of some of it because it sounds really interesting. Um, very small writing, but I'll try. In Māori, there's a bit that goes, Ke te Kei tā rātou, he rite aku waiata ki, ngo, ki ngā puka pūrākau. It says, I'm troubled to them. My songs are similar to novels. Well, let's see if that's the case. This is Kia Mo. Don't let them move, 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 don't let them move. I put on the uniform I'm telling you the truth But it sounds like a unicorn to you What must I do to help you understand? You know what I'm saying? This life is yours and only yours in your hand Let's go! Don't let them move Tarato heri te aku e ata ki ngā puka pūra kau He kore ro mō ngā whakati pūra ngā ngā rō Mūtu ki te mūtu me te katoa Che te aro i a rātou Te he mana watanga ho tātou Nō re re he tūranga tahi mā kau e Aru e te hunga kore taki ai Moneke nō atu e te rei me ngā koti rō Taku whakabau bama ki te mahi ki te rere ke pānai au Ki te pōroa Yeah, put on the suit 
I put down the uniform I'm telling you the truth But it sounds like a unicorn to you What must I do to help you understand? This life is yours and only yours in your hand Don't let them move you Don't let them push you down Don't let them move you Don't let them tell you how Don't let them move you You got to show them how Don't let them move you You got to stand your ground Nore <laughs> Camo, stand your ground. Uh, I love that, but uh, don't put down, put down the suit, put down your uniform. Well, I never picked up the suit. I never picked up the uniform. Um, of course, it's not just about your clothing, is it? But uh, as much as as you can, you need to think and behave uniquely and originally, but still benefiting from the experience and culture of others. Just imagine if, well, many of you do know Te Reo Māori, but if, if you knew more, then you would be able to pick up the beauty of the reo in the rap. Um, it's a great track. Kia mo. All right, one other thing. On Wednesday at Bush Sports Park in Paihiatua is a talk by Catherine Pollock, The Changing Room. So she's a former black stick and Olympian. She'll be speaking at the See Her, Be Her Changing Room Series event at Bush Multisport Park, Hockey Pavilion, Paihatua. The Changing Room Series showcases local wahine in various levels and positions within the active recreation and sports area. Guests can begin arriving from 5.30. So when is this? It's Wednesday. Wednesday, 5.30 be drinks and a grazing table upon arrival and it'll wrap around 7 30. it's a free event so you get grazing as well but the main thing is you get to interact and listen to uh, Catherine pollock lots of good stuff happening this weekend so don't just stay at home unless that's your thing but really lots happening out there and if you are just going to stay at home take some time to reflect on what a wonderful thing it is that we have got a treaty between the peoples of this country. Um, Have a think about why that makes us the country that we are. All right, I've got to go now because I've got other stuff to do. All right, it's been great chatting with you. Rob will be back next week. Um, Kia kaha.
and goodbye. Thank you.